when the clan leader here in Maryland, the Grand Dragon and the Imperial Wizard, both became good friends of mine and left the clan. The clan here in Maryland fell apart. I've directly influenced, like I said, 30 or 40 of them. I've got maybe 25, 26, 27 ropes and hoods out of that 30 or 40. I have rally banners, belt buckles, knives, earrings, applications, all kinds of stuff. Have you ever put on the rope before? I have. Um, you know, I have a bunch of them. This is only one of many. But uh, yes, I, I, I put one on and, and looked them. I, I didn't go out in public in it, no. I put it on just to see what, I, what it felt like, what it looked like. I stood in front of the mirror, looked at myself, and I felt very stupid. I looked very ridiculous, so I took it off. But you know, uh, that's just a natural you know, curiosity. Um, perhaps if you had one, you might try it on too. <laughs> Sorry, that's my first time seeing a robe, so... Uh -huh. I've grown up in the South. I've had friends receive invitations to... Clan rallies. Clan rallies. Parents and students at East Coweta High School are reacting to this picture, showing a student wearing a KKK hood and a Confederate-style flag. A Ku Klux Klan banner here hanging on this historic building quickly came down today. 17-year-old Pierce Doles told me he's a fan of the Klan. So you see nothing wrong about that KKK banner? Not at all. Thanks for the speech. I'm just proud of being white. It's eerie. It's, it's eerie. I plan to open a museum. I got my 501c3 and I'm going to open up a museum that, uh, that displays a lot of these things and have lectures invite former and uh, current uh, clan members to come and speak and invite people who've, who've, uh, been re who've been victims of racism to come. What would you say is the most shocking item you have? The most shocking item or most disgusting item is probably this right here. This is a t-shirt that clan members wear uh, in January on Martin Luther King Day. It uh, depicts a picture of Martin Luther King with the crosshairs of a rifle targeted on his forehead, and it mocks his I Have a Dream speech.